Hi Leo, it's Josie K. Thank you so very much for choosing my channel to stop by. Thank you new subscribers and thank you to those who have liked, shared, subscribed, donated, and received readings. I appreciate it very much. I'm pulling a card right away from the Mary Queen of Angels deck so that we can refer to this word of prayer at the end of the read. Leo's. All right, let's start off with finances. Now, somebody said my videos were too long, so I'm gonna start out hopefully doing a real short finance and a real short love, and then we can listen to spiritual messages later on for those who enjoy longer videos. So I'm starting out with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck to speak of Leos, Sun, Moon, or Rising Leos, and their career and finance energies now into the future, please. It's important for you guys to uh, listen, not only to what's being said, to, but the act to, but also to the actions of others. Some of you are contemplating learning something new, or you're learning something new with regards to watching the actions of others. In your thoughts position, you have the High Priestess of Water. So listening to spirit when it comes to how you are feeling at your place of employment or with regards to business. And in your foundation, for some of you, there's a reminder. This is a headstone that says, don't forget. Some of you are being reminded of something you learned from in a different lesson a long time ago. And uh, it was a severe lesson and Spirit's giving you this kind message to say, don't forget, in the recent past, we have the moon. So something confusing came up. You learned something through the actions of someone. It made you think about your emotions somehow. And you're being reminded in your foundation that in the next four to six weeks, you have control over remembering or figuring out where it is that you belong. Part of you, some of you, are wanting to just be playful and fun. You have the warrior in you in the next couple few weeks. So what this is all telling me so far is that you guys are kind of paying attention to someone at career finance, someone you're working with. You're learning some new things and you're kind of reacting to that, wondering what you're supposed to think about that. So you're listening to the High Priestess of Water. In your foundation, you have the reminder card. So this is a, uh, a, a headstone of a don't forget message about something that happened. Uh, maybe even this thing in the past that was the moon card, something that kind of left you confused, uh, unsure, um, wondering about some sort of secrets or something. And now in the next couple few weeks, you have the warrior. You have the strength energies to uh, figure out if you want to belong or continue to belong in a situation. I think someone around you was trying to or is trying to be playful. Okay, some of you are feeling really good about yourselves. You're getting a lot of attention. You're getting a lot of things done. You're very happy about that, excited. And then we've got <clears throat> learning something new. So maybe you guys are doing something educational or learning about a new project and you're feeling good about that. You're paying attention to why it's important to know that. In your thoughts with the High Priestess of Water, your mind, it looks like, is really focused on making sure family is happy and content. And in your foundation, you've got a reminder of the children. In the recent past, we have the Moon card. So trying to get clarity about a situation that left you in the dark and then realizing the lesson and moving forward, which brings you into this new education or this new type of business or this new learning. And the new learning, as you're listening, is actually getting you, I think, very happy and fulfilled thinking of your family, your children, and what it is you want to uh, manifest, these new ideas that you came up through listening to others and where things are going. In the next couple few weeks, 
some of you guys are um, coming up against someone who doesn't like your idea or who is just got some words to say that needs to just relax a little bit. Could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because it's a general reading. And in the next four to six weeks, you have control over deciding who is going to be long and who's not. You have justice in your favor. So being a major arcana, spirit's going to help you to cut things, people, and situations out of your life that don't keep things balanced and fair and equal in your path. Someone may have been playful, but yet you maybe see the reality about this person. Maybe it's a person in their 20 or 30, 20s and 30s and they see that you're feeling good about yourself and they're not for some reason. In your hopes and fears, you're maybe feeling invisible, waiting for an offer to come in. If and when an offer is blessed into your path, please take the time to figure out whether or not it is a true offer. Is the cup empty? Is it full? What is it? In your outcome position, the high priestess of spirit. So you have spirit helping to guide you through some sort of heartache. So maybe you guys feel like something's coming to an end with regards to finances and you kind of figure out who a person is or what a person is trying to do. And you're going to have a warrior spirit within you to help you to maintain where it is you belong and to stand up for yourself. This person may have acted like they were playing, but they weren't. And now you're actually contemplating a new direction. It may be difficult, but if spirit's guiding you, then go put in an application somewhere. Go see how successful you can be and how far you can advance. At this time in your life, representing this current path is the meditation card. It's time to meditate about something. And why is this time so important? And you may have even felt it, is because you've gone too far with the current path regarding career and finance. That path is over. There's only chaos coming after that. So at this particular moment, get clear about what it is that you used to love and don't deceive yourself that it's burning down in the background. Be clear with others. Take the position of the Queen of Swords and tell people what your boundaries are in a very fair and just and kind way. But what you will and will not accept with regards to finances and etc. Declare your boundaries. Yes, you're not stuck in any way, place, shape or form. This is a figment of your imagination. This all comes down to your own self-respect. And Spirit's trying to provide you with a conclusion, but you're still not wanting to look at it because you're too focused on having words to say to things in the past, but that's not going to help your karmic energy. I feel like this is staying loyal to yourself. Stay loyal to that which puts you in the best position because some of you may have a family and children to take care of and don't be afraid to step into a new opportunity. I think some of you may have heard of an opportunity in the past and you're kind of considering going back and wondering if that's the right idea. And I think the one that looks so great right now is maybe you're going to learn some things that somebody says that were playful that make you realize, you know what, I should go and take this other path. I'm going to get to the truth of the situation. I'm going to cut out people who don't serve what I want, fulfill me in some way, and I'm going to go to where it is that I belong. In a three-card summary to my left, you're starting out with the uh, Nine of Cups. So this is hoping, wishing, and praying, making a wish come true, finding out that it is very financial and beneficial, and there's beautiful surroundings. Start looking for that place where you can build your own finances in a different direction or in a new place. Take care of those that you love. Take care of yourself. Keep everything fair and be ba balanced and equal, even if you have to voice it to someone that you don't feel that something's fair. At some point, with regards to finances, you're going to figure out who it is that is not revealing themselves as they truly are. Maybe you're doing all the work and this person's just tied to you for some personal reasons and benefits. 
Know that you have the energies of the strength card to move on and to build a brand new business of your own or to join another business that will be much more fulfilling and much more secure for you. Use the energies of the strength card to take the time with the hermit energies to ask spirit to bring you clarity. Set goals when it comes to trying to create and manifest that path for you when it comes to finances. If you do the work, the blessing will come along with being thankful to spirit and asking for their guidance. In the next couple few weeks, someone might come racing in with an offer. This could be in love too. And your mind is all up on whatever previous things and the Hierophant saying, just hold on, have faith and hope that you will move forward and you will celebrate something that you are manifesting. Spirit's helping to connect with you through the stars at your crown here and they are wanting to help you to manifest a brand new path that you're going to be celebrating, that you're going to be excited about even though you have to leave something you enjoyed behind. There's something newer and better for you, especially with regards to love for those of you who are single. In the next four to six weeks, we have you guys looking at where you've been and what was and manifest, uh, you know, kind of uh, huh, reminiscing. And um, that's good. You learn from the past. But now it's time to move forward, create something new, build from what you've learned and make a decision moving forward. Don't try to hide from having to make a decision. Do the research. Go out and connect to what's better and more out in society, out through the Internet, out through technology. Maybe it'll take three or four offers before you finally receive the offer that you're looking for. But when you do find it, you receive the recognition that you deserve. And even for a moment, you might think, should I go back and now, you know, now I have this other offer. Should I give this last place I was at another chance or not? And Spirit's saying it's time to move forward because where you're headed towards, you can listen uh, or to listen to your intuition that where you're headed towards is better. Yes, do not go back to the past. So if those of you get kind of a word of a place you're heading to with regards to finances and and then the past company comes up and wants to offer you something, continue moving forward, okay? For Leos, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. All right, we're going to do love, 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 love with the Doreen Virtue Romance Angel deck. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Leo with clearly defined messages regarding their love energies now into the future. Ooh, love offer. I see for some of you a very new one, a very fresh one. Uh, I don't know how sincere it is. Could be from a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Starting off, the card representing your current life path here on Earth at this time. Some of you are in need of having a discussion. So maybe the two of you need to retreat and disconnect from the world. In your thoughts position, Spirit's asking you guys to have trust and faith. As you have these discussions... And in your foundation, I see healing family issues. As you forgive someone, whether it's your parents or whomever, because we all have our own path, we all make mistakes, we learn from them hopefully and move forward, we need to also forgive others for what it is they've been going through. To understand where the two of you are and to have trust and faith that at this time, for those of you who are in a marriage or connection, that you can definitely work through this okay in the recent past maybe there was a wedding or marriage recently and now in the next couple few weeks it's time to make the effort honeymoon time might be over take the steps great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take in the next four to six weeks you have control over opening your heart to retreating, to connecting, to trusting and loving, to healing, to making all kinds of effort to make and to keep both of your hearts wide open. Someone outside of your path maybe it's the person you're with. You know, they're on their path, you're on your path and that person, you're trying to keep an open mind. You're hoping, you know what, is this the person I waited for? <laughs> for some of you Leos. And in your outcome position, look at 
magnetic attraction. So it's kind of funny. It's like maybe you guys are just trying to gosh darn it. Have fun together, reconnect and find playtime. In another, uh, well, in the card that represents the overall read is getting together with your friends. So maybe ask for and connect with friends about maybe going on a vacation together. And in the next three to six months, Spirit's saying for those of you who are in a relationship, maybe connecting with another couple wanting to go do something, to go ahead and express your love. I think it's going to, I'm smiling so much because it's like so much fun. So, heart to heart conversations. Honestly discussing your feelings with each other. Maybe it has to be about money. I really want to go on this vacation. Oh, I don't know if we have enough money. Well, maybe we can use the magician energies and pull together all the magical uh, spaces we keep money and put it all together and put it in a box. I don't know. However you want to do that. In your thoughts position, having hope and trust and faith that you will, Leos, Maintain your leadership position. Maintain good care and protection over your family. In your foundation, there is some healing and you're hoping and wishing and praying on a star that conversations and disconnection and retreat as a family could be very good. In the recent past, you went through heck because of a marriage, a situation that involved marriage. And now in the next couple few weeks, you're trying to make a decision. What are the steps you want to take? Do these steps have to do with career? What is it that you're hoping and wishing for as you are healing? In the next four to six weeks, you're opening your heart to other people. Good for you guys. And messages are coming in. Huh. Some of you might be newly connecting with someone who is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. And you're trying to trust in this person. Maybe this person does well with their finances. Someone outside of your path may be different. And some of you may just be trying to figure out things about this person. It's safe for you to love. Heart to heart conversations. Okay, now I think we're going into the future. I feel like, okay, that ended. The family, they're going to create stuff. They're going to have a great path together for those who are married. Now, for those who are single, maybe you trusted and had faith in someone who was an earth sign, and then you got a message, and you're saying, you know what, we need to talk about something because this is what I want. And I went through this in the past. And now I want to make the effort to do something in the future. But I need to know if you're on the same page. And I think Spirit's telling you, decide. Do you want to connect out or not? Keep an open mind that there may be more on offer in the world than what you've only exposed yourself to at this time if you're single. In your hopes and fears, maybe you're hoping to really give your heart to the right person and you're hoping that divine timing is listening to what it is you're trying to manifest. In your outcome position, there's strong magnetic attraction. You guys receive messages that confirm that there is magnetic attraction. Again, it could be that somebody was worth waiting for that could be an earth sign like you that's a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and this is the person that was worth waiting for. This is the person that you were trying to connect out to. You were trying to keep an open mind about. Some of you feel trapped. That's what this reading is about. And Spirit's saying, let your friends help you to be able to open yourself up. Some of you may just be coming out of the end of a marriage and you're trying to connect with this new earth sign. And there might be a little bit of an offer there. And But you guys are afraid to open up. You don't even have a clue of how to open up or where it is you're going to go. So you have these messages, but you're like, how do I free myself from where in the heck am I and where am I going next? They don't even know if they would identify with attraction or not at this time because they're going within to, yeah, this goes with this. If you feel like there's unrequited love, and I feel like now this is a cross watcher. It could be both. 
If you're feeling unrequited love, just go within at this time with the hermit energies and manifest or go through that spiritual transformation of where was I? What did that teach me? That heartache or that beginning or that concern we had? How am I a stronger person now because of it? And what is going to happen now that I move forward? For some of you, you're going to want to express your love, but after you take some time to think about things, you're going to let a connection go. It was fun flirting, but maybe someone else is too codependent. You don't know what the offer is. That is a few different people there. If the messages tie in, great. I appreciate and am glad that that works out. And if not, know that I can pull your direct energies via my email at josiek42 at gmail.com. The information is right below my video. Uh, let's see here. So next, what I want to do is look at this overall three card summary to my left with the same Rider Waite deck. And the first card representing the first week and a half to two weeks is the Ace of Wands. Wow, new path coming in for you guys. New, exciting, either passionate and exciting love opportunity or career and finance opportunity. Maybe you've been working super hard and you're ready for a break. And you're going into a mode of, do I want to connect with somebody that I know this is a naughty situation for singles, but do I want to anyway? Am I done because I'm still in my head about someone who is an earth sign or am I done with a business that was not fair and equal and am I going to just continue forward to create what it is that I want in my future for myself? Really taking the next couple few weeks, Leos, to look at what it is that you don't understand. Getting clarity within. And if it has to do with love, if it's empty, it's empty. Come to that realization, okay? Come to the realization that a person, a situation that involves three people is just going to get you up in your head. It's time to manifest what best serves you. Manifest a life path that makes you feel fulfilled and happy, that is blessed, that spirit can help for you to feel like the center of in the next four to six weeks. You may have to deal with a child. Spirit saying, yep. So I don't know how that's going to go. If that ties in, that's a message you need to contact me about separately. Uh, temperance. <sighs> Yeah, after much thought in the next four to six weeks, I think you guys are going to choose the Ace of Swords path being offered by the universe to cut yourself away from something that after getting to the truth of it, claiming, claiming victory over the reality of the entire deal, of coming to the truth of whether or not something's requited or not, doing what's right for you to find yourself in your own fulfillment and contentment, doing a business, a hobby, going to school, occupying yourself at least for sure for the month of August. Now, I'm seeing what I'm guided to here. I'm going to pull some cards from the Angel Answers deck by Doreen Virtue. Yes, for spiritual messages. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the Sun Sign, Moon Sign, or Rising Sign of Leo for August 2017. Good. So Spirit's here to tell you that the situation will improve. And to surround yourself with people who can help you redirect. Know that the angels are there also. In your thoughts position, if you believe, especially in your thoughts position, you will manifest. In your foundation, some of you need to work on, oh no, you have worked on it. And now your health is improving. I thought normally I do say work on improving, but it seems like it has improved and it's improving more. So maybe some of you are already focused on a health situation. You've been changing something up or how you eat and it is improving the situation. It's connecting you with others. So in the past, you were asked for help from others. But now in the next couple few weeks, we have a no with an exclamation mark and you having control over something in the near future. So let's, a let's ask Spirit what those messages are about. This is the Doreen Virtue Angel Answers deck in combination with the Rider Waite deck to confirm each step of the Celtic Cross reading before us. Situation will improve because you're manifesting something new. 
Okay, so Spirit's really urging you guys to create something, give birth to something new on your path at this time, or letting you know that you will, you will hear about it. But you're manifesting it. Spirit's helping you to manifest it. So I don't know if you're hoping and praying for someone else, yourself, what? Um, a foundation, improving your health, maybe feeling down and not allowing yourself to recognize that your health, health is improving, to not taking the steps. If you believe in a child or a person who is frustrated or frustrating, things will work out. But in the past, you've had to ask for help. And helpful people are going to come. But this person, this child, this connection to a situation, This child is going to be through a few trials before the manifestation of something improves. Or a love offer is not going to change in connection with a child until you manifest something to change the situation. These are some spiritual messages. Uh, yeah, in the next four to six weeks, you guys have control over what it is you're going to say yes to in the near future. Because if you say no in the next couple few weeks, it could be just major heartache. Wow. Hopes and fears that the perfect timing will allow for a path to come in that is exciting. And that in your outcome position, you guys will find recovery. And spirits there with you with the major arcana judgment to help you to make the right choices as you are trying to recover from something. The card overlooking the entire read is success with an exclamation mark because you've decided to let the past fall away. Let go and manifest something new. Don't stop setting the goals to move forward. Get more information until you have absolute clarity about where it is going and what your path is going to look like. Because within the next few weeks, some of you are going to find that peace, joy, contentment, happiness, and love, prosperity, nice surroundings, and family. The connection is going to take place. But in the next four to uh, three to six months, I feel like you're going to have to take off the blindfold and really do the research in a situation. Meditation or travel will help bring you to what it is you need to know. And I think a lot of what some of you guys are working through is fairness and equality. And once you realize that we're all going through our own paths individually and somehow inadvertently hurt others in a human way. But we're all struggling in the same way. We're all learning the same lessons, but we're learning them differently in different ways that apply to our different paths. So we need to forgive others and to be thankful that they came into our path because they taught us something about ourselves. And that is why we come alone and die alone, is who we connect and how we connect and how we report as to the choices we made and our beliefs here on earth at this time and on into the future. So in the next week and a half to two weeks from when you guys watch this video, Leos, really work on your finances, work on taking care of yourself, getting massages. Be clear with your words as you express yourself to others. Look for a leadership position or a better pay that you've been working or manifesting your own business. Put your energy into that at this time. Walk away from something that you were with for a long time or that was a big part of your life at one point and let that hand those worries to spirit. Yeah, because when it comes to love, there's just a lot of bad energies going on, people making some different choices, and you're just meant to kind of focus on work and hand your prayers to spirit about a new exciting life path and let it come in on its own. In the next couple few weeks, you've got the wheel of fortune turning in your favor as you're connecting out to other ideas, things you can manifest, goals you can set for yourself. 
paths you can take and you're going to receive messages back. You have the energies of the star card to hope, wish, and pray on what it is you want to manifest so that you can release yourself from the current circumstances that may involve finance. Some of you are going to find and hear of that message and be excited to hop, skip, and jump and take a risk. And then you'll want to get to the truth of the situation regarding love. Wow. So it's like somebody is moving on because of something they found out. And now they're trying to decide if maybe, and this could be just one person or 10 people or 100 people's energies, you are going to pick them up on the way and travel and create something with this person um, and this new idea or this new direction. Whew. So in the next four to six weeks, we have justice in your favor, Leos. Cutting away from people and situations that don't serve you and trying to find balance in your life once again because that is what will make you shine. You're going to get to a point where you feel really good about yourself, really happy and really comfortable. But then someone's going to come in who is maybe an air sign, Libra, Aquarius or Gemini, and they're going to come in and have words to say about something that's being celebrated. Maybe they're very, very excited because there's a new path here with regards to career and finances. And maybe some of you are like, well, what am I going to do about this love? Is it unfulfilling? Is it where I'm supposed to be or not? And then take some time to get clarity. Be clear with others about what you want, what you don't want, and tell them that you're moving forward. Some of you may be hoping to connect with a water sign or to use your intuition about, let me clarify, Okay, the water sign for some of you might be in the past. Sorry, I felt that. And then there was some sort of heartache, and now you're trying to find fairness and equality, but some of you have actually somehow ended up still trying to contact someone from the past that's not good for you. Focus on finances. Thank you. I hope that helped a little bit. Um, yeah, so we're to the end of the reading, and earlier I pulled a card from the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Dorian Virtue, and the word of prayer that I pulled for you guys is hope. I trust that God has a wonderful solution and brilliant plans in store for me. So whatever you hope for at this time, continue all day long in your thoughts for spirit to bring what you hope for into your path. Uh, the last two decks I see as I finished shuffling them were Be Assertive and either a new finance financial opportunity or for some of you, a love offer from an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Think about the love offer. Let go when it comes to finances. Assert yourself and you will find a peaceful resolution at your job or with your small business, and you can all move forward with regards to finances greatly. Take your time in love for the month of August. Let things reveal themselves before making any particular decisions. I hope to talk to you again soon. Take care and God bless.